This is Paul Gordon of State of Wake, and I'm here to talk a little bit about the Colin Kaepernick flag controversy. At first, I was interested in looking at Colin Kaepernick, the context of everything that he was saying. What's what's really behind all of the things that he's saying? On one hand, you have folks in the liberty community, a lot of folks in the liberty community, not all, but they seem to be almost openly, unquestioningly embracing Colin Kaepernick and calling him a hero and other folks within the liberty community who are essentially saying, yeah, but all lives matter because he said black lives. So as you know, whenever you say black lives matter, you got to say all lives matter. And I was interested at first in looking at exactly what are the beliefs behind what Kaepernick is doing. And I changed my mind as I was doing the research and it became much more as I saw the reactions and, and this is not obviously what I'm going to say next is not from the Liberty community. What I saw in the reactions from folks outside the Liberty community changed my mind. And this is the challenging thought for folks that still embrace this course of enterprise called the United States of America. And the challenging thought is this. What kind of country do you want to live in? Do you want to live in a country where a young man decides for whatever reason? It doesn't really matter why Colin Kaepernick sat down, not in the context of what I'm talking about here. Do you want to live in a country where if a young man decides to sit down and not salute that flag and not stand for that national anthem, that the whole country, it seemingly, I'd say, and, and this is left and right alike, by the way, the whole country comes out against this guy saying, Oh, you're, 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 uh, you're, you hate America. America made you what you are. If you don't like this country, you can leave. Is that, you claim, most of you who claim this, you, you claim that the United States of America is the land of the free, the home of the brave. This is the land where individual rights trump all. Uh, a land where the government allegedly is designed to protect the rights of individuals, not, and this is my phraseology, not make disciples, a non-disciple-making government. That is ostensibly what the Constitution was supposed to provide for. And I'm not going to get into whether the Constitution actually does that or whether that's actually the the real goal of the Constitution, but that's the ostensible goal. And yet here you are. You're kind of proving the liberty community's point. You have so adopted collectivist thinking that you don't even think of it as collectivist thinking. We have people that are saying, if you are going to burn that flag in front of me or if you're, if you're not going to stand in front of the national anthem and you do it in front of me, I'm going to do something about that. They're threatening physical harm against people who dare sit. For the national anthem. I know this is a dilemma for me, and this is a dilemma for a lot of folks in Liberty. When we go to events like this, what do we do? We know, we know if we sit for that national anthem that the whole crowd around us, it could potentially get ugly. We could potentially be putting ourselves at risk of having violent, physical things done for us. And while they're trying to beat us down, physically beat us down, they're going to claim that men died for our liberty, for our right to sit for the national anthem. But since we won't stand for the national anthem, they're going to kick our butts. That's what men died for. Of course, I, I won't get into that either. Did men really die for that quote unquote right? That's another matter altogether. But let's give you the benefit of the doubt and say that, yes, they died for our freedom and our liberty. Then why aren't you respecting the freedom and liberty of others to do that very thing? For me, what's so important about Colin Kaepernick sitting for the national anthem, more important than 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 what he thinks it is for. He he believes, and I, 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 
I mean, my my uh, uh, brief research here strongly suggests that he has a lot of ties to the Black Lives Matter movement. That that the end goal that he will be supporting won't be true liberty. It'll be something less than true liberty. I'll just say, but but that doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is that there was someone, for whatever reason they they want to have, and you can you could talk about the fact that Colin Kaepernick maybe he's already on his way out and he figures he has nothing to lose. Maybe this is a publicity stunt because he did talk that you know he's got other things in the works, so maybe he's hoping to 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 segue out of a NFL career to a, a civil rights activist career. Oh, it does, none of that matters to me. What matters is that there was somebody on a national stage that sat for the national anthem. How we react to that, especially we in the liberty movement, and, and even if you're not in the liberty movement, if you're kind of, you know, you're kind of on the edge, you're like, maybe you're a fellow traveler, you're not quite with us, but you're a fellow traveler, how we all react is going to go a long way towards advancing the idea, the notion that in the quote-unquote land of the free, you should expect to be able to reject the flag, to reject the country, and not and not worry about physical reprisals, not worry that somebody's going to demand that you lose your job. The folks, the conservatives that are calling for this guy to be fired, that are calling for the NFL to be sanctioned for not doing something against them, they're they're acting just like the SJWs that they think that they oppose. So, in summary, what is happening here, we can only hope, opens up the door, the floodgates, for others to dare speak up and dare challenge the land of the free with an idea that in the land of the free, if this really is the land of the free, that even if I reject your country, even if I reject your flag, as long as I don't personally hurt you, you shouldn't be threatening me physically. You shouldn't be threatening my way of life. You can, you can voice your opposition to me. That's fine. But when you go beyond that, when you decide because I have an opinion that you don't like, an opinion that does not hurt you, that you are going to try to harm my way of life, my physical well-being, then you, sir, then you, ma'am, you are not, by your own definition, not mine, but by your definition, you're not an American. You don't represent a land of the free and the brave. You're a coward. You hide behind social approval, social approval that demands Blind adherence, blind worship, unthinking, uncritical worship of a flag and a state.